Hi, family of witches. I hope that the spirits are with you. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. And I'm feeling good. Look, y'all, I am so excited. And I will allow you all into my home and into my garden. Uh, um, I'm fixing to get ready to get started. So I know I need to um, set up this tripod. Do they have a tripod for cell phones? Mm, I don't know. But anyways, I don't think I will get enough footage and stuff. So... What I'll probably do is probably take out the uh, handy camcorder. It's been a minute since I've used that camcorder because camp people, y'all need to know how much time people invest into, you know, using these high definition camcorders, guys. If you don't know, give it a shot. It's a lot of work. Um, there have been times I have waited hours to upload with that um, high-definition cam. So that's why I don't use it that much and everything. I do stuff that's really quick and fast. Somebody was saying, Mom, I wish you would do longer videos. I've gotten some emails, you know, people asking questions why the video is so short. It's because I just, you know, just randomly pick up the cell phone and it's so convenient to just make a quickie. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like a quickie, huh? <laughs> so that's why I do that. But anyways, I want you all to follow me. And my husband uh, wants to... Um, he wants to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, the hobby farm we's going to, we're going to, not we's going to have. <laughs> we're going to get ready for you all and everything. So what you got to say? Yeah, I think I want to get a horse and uh, do a garden. Well, won't you, what, what about those people next door? Remember that horse that we saw over there next door and everything? Maybe yeah. they want to sell it. Who yeah, knows? Y'all well, yeah, think they want to sell that horse? Just in case they don't want to sell it, I want my own horse. Yeah, I think more than likely you'll probably have to get like a little baby. Or yeah. probably like a baby, a newborn horse or something like that. Mm -hmm. Then I want me a big garden on the side of the house. Oh, that's going to be easy to get right there. Yeah. You know, I got I can work magic on a garden kind of family. If y'all want to see my old gardens, go further back like 2009 and you in 2010. You'll you get a chance to see, you know, Mama's garden. I, I went really big one time. A lot of y'all already know about the garden. Y'all been following me for almost a decade now. But a lot of people maybe kind of new to the channel, new to Mama. You may not know of the garden, but you can go back and type in a witch's garden and it'll let you see what I used to do way back when I used to do one every year last year I didn't do one because I was like transitioning between you know getting up and doing something different coming out to the country getting like a I got like three acres now so I can do a little bit of everything now I want to have a greenhouse I want like a little small fruit orchard orchard archery um, I'd like to have the little garden. I want to just do what you call a hobby farm. A lot of you all, Anika, I love your chicken coop. I saw your chicken coop on Facebook, girl. And um, so anyway, you have definitely inspired me because, I mean, I was looking at your plans. There are so many plans on building chicken coops, chicken tractors. I mean, you can go all out. I have six, seven biddies right now, and I'm raising them and... Uh, uh, I need to go back to tractor and get some more because they, they're going to have them put up. They're, they won't be for sale anymore after Easter. So they got ducks in there. They got all kind of little, they got little turkeys, everything, you know. And so, you know, um, and I do want one rooster. I think most of those are girls um, because I got them out of the girls batch. One batch had girls and boys, and I got a feeling that the one he picked out that he said may be a boy may not be a boy. So I may have seven hens on my hands. I don't know. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, probably go out to the place and just buy a full grown, grown rooster once the, the girls get a little bit larger. But um, I want you all to be a part of this. I don't know if this should be a new channel, uh, the Witch's Hobby Farm or something like that. But I'm very excited about it. I want you all to participate in this. I'm not here to just you know, help us to cultivate our lives as being witches, you know, because it's difficult for us, you know, but I also want to cultivate witches in a variety of things, especially in harvesting, you know, and, um, and, um, another thing I, I, 
I, I think that might be out of my league, you know what I'm saying? But uh, be, becoming a doula has been on my mind. But I, I'm like a lot of people are afraid of me, so I don't think too many people would probably want me to deliver their baby. I did have one young lady that was pregnant about a year ago that wanted me to assist her and her um, at-home water birth, but I chickened out. I'm like, I don't know about that. I was actually delivered by a midwife. Uh, I call them. I call them witches um, because that's what witches did. They went out. Who do you think went out to deliver babies and heal people, get them well? It it was the witches, you know, and so they come because they were the healers. And we're misunderstood people. We're healers. You know what I'm saying? We take care of the sick. We help the sick get well. That's what we do. We grow food. You know, we're horticulturists. We're artists. We're misunderstood. A lot of people get angry with us. They get upset with us. They retaliate on us because they they, they because they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't understand that even though they don't like us, other people need our service. Other people want our service, and people get angry because they don't like you, and they get upset because other people want your service. Other people want to know what you're doing. Other people want to be a part of what you're doing. And we got to realize we cannot control the earth. You know, we can only con do, we can only control ourselves. So that's, that's what's so beautiful about life. You know, start with yourself. If there's something you don't like, it's time to work on something on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's why I say that's what's so lovely by, about being a witch. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like us, but that don't stop everybody from having anything to do with us, appreciating our services, and appreciating what we do as witches. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just got to, I got to get with it. You know, it's a lot of things people are doing I don't like. I don't worry about that. I worry about making sure I'm doing the things that I should be doing so that I can love myself. When you love yourself, you don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing. You don't have to get angry with everybody else because what they're doing, you don't like it. You got to first have some love. A lot of people have so much hatred in their hearts for the circumstances that they have gone through. They become hostile. I used to be like that uh, once upon a time. And then I realized, I said, it's the, the world is not making me angry. I myself am making myself angry. Okay, so which is we're going to exist. We're going to live. We're going to exist. We're going to keep our mission up. We're, you can't stop us. And I, I always say, if you do kill us, make sure you kill, kill our souls because we will be back to haunt you. And not just to haunt you, we will be back to inhabit another body. Why waste your time? We're here for a brief amount of time. Let's just love ourselves and do the things that we love. And then somewhere in that moment, somebody might see you and say, hey, wow, I like what she's doing because it seems like she loves it too. I want to be a part of that. You know, I don't have to raise my voice and get angry to get someone to pay attention to me or become hostile and criticize other people to come here. I don't. Because I love what I do and I love myself. Do you all love yourselves out there, witches? Okay. So I'm sending you all love and light and also some darkness, okay? Got to do that now. You know, because see, the, the life ain't nothing without with, without the darkness. Because dark, the darkness is where the babies are made. Y'all know what y'all do. Y'all get in the bed at night, make love in the dark. Okay, <laughs> babies are made in the dark and then they, the babies come out in the dark. Most babies are born at nighttime. The womb is dark. The darkness is the creator. Be back in a bit, okay? Bye-bye.